Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thank you for joining me. Today we are working on a few thrift shop finds, three to be exact, and we are going to be using the Pretty in Plaid stamp, the Jingle Mold, the Noel Paint Inlay, and the Crockery Decor stamp. We're also going to be using the amazing casting resin. You can find all these products on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Let's get started. These items were picked up at a thrift store. This little wooden sign was about a dollar, I think. And these three little plaques I thought were really sweet with the hooks and they were three for $2. And I thought they just were really wonderful little blanks to work with. I also had this tray here that I did paint previously, but it sort of just sat in my pile. And I thought, let's take it out and do something with it. To start off with, I'm using Dixie Bell's Drop Cloth Chalk Mineral Paint and I'm applying two coats to these little round hook signs. I'm then going to be using the Czech stamp from the Pretty in Plaid stamp, so I'm just lightly sanding the stamps first. This is going to help the stamps to hold the paint on. I'm then going to cut out the Czech stamp that I want to use so that I can use the backing to help me hold it in place when I'm stamping. I'm using Dixie Belle's Barn Red today and I'm applying it with a brayer and anywhere where it's overlapped a little bit, I'm going to clean it off. I'm pressing it onto the stamp and just lightly pressing. I'm going for a bit of a weathered look here. Next, I'm working with the amazing casting resin and the jingle mold. Now, I only want the reindeer's head for this project, so I'm using a metal spoon to hold it in place for a little while, and I am making two of those, one of each so that they're facing opposite directions, and I'm just pulling off any excess resin uh, on the bottom there. I also cast the forward-facing reindeer and I am painting it now with Dixie Bell's Chocolate Chalk Mineral Paint. I'm also going to apply the same paint to the left and right-facing reindeer heads that I cast. I'm now using part of the decor crockery stamp. I'm using part of the thick cream section, just the wreath. I'm just brushing on paint where I want it to go using sticky tape to block the parts I don't. And I really love that I was able to use this stamp in another way. I glued the reindeer heads to the little plaques using hot glue and I'm pressing down, making sure that I've got good contact. I previously sealed these with Dixie Belle's clear coat and now I'm going in with Dixie Belle's grunge glaze to antique these and give them a bit more of a vintage look. Next, I'm lightly brushing on a little bit of drop cloth chalk paint and wiping it back. I want to age these up a little bit and make them look a little bit more like their brass. I'm then coming in with one of my favorite products, Dixie Belle's Gold Gilding Wax, and I'm just lightly touching it in certain areas. I'm also using Gilding Wax on the different parts of the hooks and around the edges of the plaques themselves. Stay tuned till the end to see how these turned out. Next project is this little wooden sign that I found. I am placing two coats of Dixie Bell's drop cloth on top and then we're going to come in with the beautiful new IOD Noel paint inlay. This has eight pages of beautiful Christmas designs to choose from. We're going to be using two different designs from this today. And as you can see, we are just really spoiled for choice. This is a perfect opportunity to try paint inlays if you haven't already, because these are smaller projects that you can tackle without being too frightened. First design from the inlay that we're going to use is this beautiful hot cocoa sign. So I'm cutting it out and saving the rest of the design for later. I'm doing a fresh coat of paint, making sure it's on reasonably thick and then placing the hot cocoa paint side down and smoothing it out with my fingers and a brayer. I'm then coming in with a mister and plain water and dabbing it on. When 
when the paint inlay is dry, I am misting it again thoroughly with water and I am going to come in really gently and start to pull the design back. Now, if it gets stuck, you come in with a little bit more water, give it a couple of seconds and then keep going. You wanna gently pull it back and then save that inlay for future use. Let's dry, I'm coming in with a 50-50 mix of clear coat and water and spraying it on to seal it. Next, we're using the Pretty in Plaid Check stamp again with Dixie Bell's Barn Red on a brayer and we are going to lightly coat the stamp and then we're going to use it around the border of the hot cocoa sign. So when I first applied the paint, I probably didn't have enough on, but it's all a learning experience because the design did come out a little bit more faded than I'd like. So I did go back in and add a little bit more paint and go back over it again. For a space this long, I did have to then go in and apply a bit more paint and extend the design and line it up. You just wanna take your time when you're doing this. Keep watching till the end to see how this turned out. Our final project is that cute little tray that I'd previously painted. I decided to use drop cloth with Dixie Bell's Sea Spray Texture Additive because it had a design on there previously. I could see the outline, so I thought that the sea spray would hide that really well. So I'm putting on uh, my first base coat of this. I'm dabbing it on uh, lightly. And you don't want to use your good brushes for this because it is really hard on your bristles and you also really don't want to put sea spray down your drain, so wash it in a tap outside. Um, once I have that first coat down, I'm coming in with a second coat and that sea spray has done wonders to hide that uh, previous design underneath. We're going to use the gingerbread paint inlay. I'm just trimming off part of it so it fits nicely. And then I'm going in with a nice thick coat of drop cloth again, and I'm going to press the paint inlay paint side down into the wet paint. And then I'm smoothing it out with my fingers and a brayer. I'm then coming in with a mister with plain water and using a damp cloth to gently press the design in. When the paint inlay is dry, I'm coming in with a mister and a damp cloth again, saturating the surface and then very gently pulling my paint inlay away. When the inlay is dry, I'm coming in with my 50-50 clear coat and water mix and misting it lightly. And then I'm coming in when that's dry with a brush and doing a proper sealing coat or two. I'm then coming in with a fine artist brush and adding Dixie Bell's Barn Red around the border of the tray. I thought it tied in quite nicely with the red in the paint inlay. And here's the finished product. I love how this little tray and hot cocoa sign turned out. And I think that my little hooks look really, really sweet. They'd be great with a wreath or a stocking or anything really hanging off them. I hope that you really enjoyed these little thrift flips. It just goes to show that you can take something that's plain and use IOD products and your paint of choice to really transform them. I'd love it if you could hit that like button. Let me know what you think of these projects in the comments and if you could hit that subscribe button that would be wonderful i'm going to be doing a lot more projects like this in the future along with furniture makeovers You can find all of the IOD and Dixie Bell products that I used in this video on my website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.